good ice. Oh, wow. It worked. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. That's the most technologically advanced research vessel ever built. And wow, look at it. It's beautiful. That's Ocean Explorer. We've kitted it out with world-leading scientific assets, scientists, and some of the best filmmaking gear known to man. It's perfectly designed for making discoveries, the kinds that have eluded scientists for years. This deep sea phenomenon is called a flashback. It's rarely documented and incredibly hard to capture. To film it is our challenge. Why, you ask? Because we've been inspired by our new TV show, Ocean Explorers. Now, that team pulled it off with a massive crew of filmmakers, scientists and explorers. And a whole year. We don't have a production crew in the dozens. Or a year. We have a media team of three and a couple of weeks to fit our flashback quest in and around the daily marine surveys being conducted. A mission to produce a report on biodiversity in these waters. A mission that has brought us here to Indonesia and the Indian Ocean! To help the Indonesian government in their conservation efforts here. And alongside that, a few weeks to capture a flashback using these magical submersibles and get footage to rival the media giants that made our TV show Ocean Explorers. Okay, how are we gonna do it? No idea. <laughs> it's clear we need more information. So, whilst Adam prepped some cameras in our submersible in preparation for our first dive and first attempt, I sat down with Matty here, Ocean Explorer's Science Programme Director, which translates to... It's like a never-ending loop of science, um, and I'm responsible for all of it. To find out more about what a flashback is, and where we can go to give ourselves the best chance of seeing it. When we're talking about flashback, we're talking about bioluminescence in general, which basically is animals or organisms that make their own light. Living things producing light through chemical reactions is rare on land, but in the ocean, 80% of animals that live between 200 and 1,000 meters deep are bioluminescent. Visually, this is usually blue, but it can also be violet, greeny yellow, or red. Coming in if that's right, Colin. Yeah. The, the big questions around bioluminescence is why does it happen? Who has it? Who does it? What is it used for? kind of start getting at the answer like, okay, well this one animal might use it for attracting prey. This other animal might use it for escaping or creating a diversion. These other animals might use it as a form of communication. Like we really don't know because it's so difficult to access the depths of the ocean where bioluminescence occurs. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, so Nadia, can't confirm hatch is secure, over. Control this is Nadia passing two zero zero meters. It's one of the, the world's big mysteries. Descending with Neptune heading two four zero degrees over. So if you keep looking down below your feet, yeah. you'll know, maybe see the seabed soon. It's Twenty meters to go. So. With a few hours of science objectives to undertake before we could ascend and try a flashback, we set about our exploration survey, 375 meters below the surface. <laughs> Surrounded by alien life, our attention turned to bioluminescence, with the words of Matty ringing around the acrylic bubble that we found ourselves in. One of the conditions for flashback is having life to flashback. <laughs> so what we're doing is trying to find the most biomass, the most life in the water column. We use all this technology to onboard the vessel. We find the thickest layer of life called deep scattering layer where we think it's most likely um, that we're going to get the, the best flashback and that's where we target. Uh, control, control, this is Nadia. What depth is the DSL over? Oh, Roger, 150 meters. So at 150, you probably won't get any flashback. 
Uh, Neptune, Nadir, can you kill your downlight for a bit? We're going to do a flashback just to try it. Well, here we go. You turn off all the lights, and then the subpilots flash their really bright lights. As a passenger, close your eyes, and then they tell you to open your eyes immediately after the last flash, and what you see is this galaxy of bioluminescence. <gasps> It is the most incredible phenomenon I have ever experienced, ever in my life, ever, in all parts of my life, not just work, in all parts of my life. Oh! So it was funny. Whoa, we did get a bit. I think that's the biggest one. But you could definitely see it. It's picking up. Technically, we have captured it. But like 1% of it, 5% of it. I think this is a pretty good start. We know what to do next time. So that is a hint of what we need to be getting just full just screen. Just everywhere. Yeah. I feel pretty good. I feel confident. I may feel less confident after dive four with one more to go and we've not quite got it, but let's try again next time. With the realization of just how dark this phenomenon is and how lucky you have to be to see it in strength, we set about planning our next attempt. But after a spat of bad weather, the next few days weren't spent trying to capture a flashback. They were spent hiding from the open ocean, in between the Indonesian islands of Nias and Sumatra. It meant we were sending the subs down to shallower depths, good for science transect surveys of the ocean floor with both the subs and our remotely operated vehicle. But whilst we were closer to our goal of creating a report on biodiversity here in Indonesia, we were further away from capturing a flashback. But with patience. Eight days after our first attempt, it was time for another shot in the dark. Today was Jeremy's turn. You ready for today? Yeah, ready. Our media technology officer. I'm excited. Tech savvy with the best smile of the group. Look at that, glowing. Testing, testing. Test complete, we wished them luck and waved them goodbye as they set off for our second flashback attempt. The next few hours, Adam and I busied ourselves with other projects and media coming in from different parts of the ship. From transect surveys being conducted by our scuba team to aerial megafauna surveys in the heli. Oh, we are so close. He just did like a triple 720. <laughs> Data that needed to be gathered for our overall quest to establish the quantity of marine life in these waters, but also kept our minds from wondering how the flashback quest was going. The result of which was surprise, and a sudden moment of elation when we saw this. Followed by disappointment. And I'm not really sure what this is, but big and exciting is what I'm getting. Happy? Yeah, really happy. What did you say? <laughs> huge shark, it was huge. It was pretty big. It was like almost the size of the whole glass of the of the wow. submarine. Oh, that's much bigger than Like it looked shark. like a monster at first. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Without much hope, we sat down anyway to see what was picked up. Ah. See, you can see like... Oh! Okay, so you didn't see it properly. No, I didn't see it. Oh, oh there's a flash. Oh, oh! Oh! Wait, I didn't even know that you we did have, You did have a bit! <laughs> oh. oh! We've got 2% of it again. Maybe like 0.5%. <laughs> 
Let's try on dive three. It's a step in the right direction. Step in the right direction. With bad weather on the horizon, and with three dives deep enough to capture a flashback to go, the last thing we needed was a setback. some flashback today. Yes, I'm Thanks. excited. Do you actually come with us? I'm not really. <laughs> you never know. Exactly, you never know. Okay, so we're going to do our venting now. Control, control, this is uh, Nadia, deck 150 metres descending over. Deck 300 metres, 85 metres below descending over. So we're standing again at the DSL now. I, would I, I can see life. I put the lights out if you're happy and we go dark. We're starting to get some bioluminescence in the thruster. See if you look at the, at the back behind you, Azri, just where the thruster wow. is, you'll start seeing little sparkles. Wow. Is everyone ready? Ready. Yeah. So, three, two, one, flashing once, twice, three times. Open your eyes. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, that is a very, very small. Very, very small. Okay, we'll do it one more time and then yeah, we get yeah. to the bottom and get to where we need to be. Alright? Yep, oh. yep. Oh god, I could do this forever. Three, two, one, flashing. Now, one, two, three, open your eyes. Oh. Wow! <laughs> That's magic! Oh, I can only imagine what it would be like. Well, I think that's definitely the best bioluminescence we've seen so far. Yay. Yeah. Well, I saw it in real life, so... Sorry, pretty tired. I did see it today and it's just not picked up. It's just too dark. And the worst thing in the world would probably be to see it, but not actually get it. Two left. I'm going to bed. Predictably by this point, without a deep flashback dive in sight, the days flew by with the ship in full work mode. Shallow dive was followed by shallow dive, as the science and sub team spent their time learning more about these waters with the aim to help the Indonesian government make conservation actions here. Whilst filming for a different project, and less than a week left of our time on ship, we had what would be our last bombshell. Uh, we're having to rush a bit because last night we found out that this is our last chance. Therefore, we're sending Adam and Matty, who are hopefully going to be our good luck charms. Okay. We're going to go see Kate. She'll be able to tell us where the most life is, that layer in the ocean. But we should be able to see it on like a screen. Hey, Kate. Hey. Sorry for throwing a massive camera in front of your face. Sonars are mounted to the bottom of the ship, right? So we're sending the sounds, and then whatever they hit in the water column, whether that be a dense layer of marine life, or a school of fish, or the seafloor, that sound then is scattering back up to the sonar and the sonar will then hear that. So actually, if we take this information now, yeah. we can use this to try the flashback in, what would you suggest, maybe trying one here? About 300 meters is probably the strongest bit there, but I wouldn't say that's the strongest scattering layer I've ever seen. <laughs> but that doesn't really matter, it's all relative. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. <laughs> we don't ask for much. We just want six gill sharks, really nice coral, uh, push coral bowl sediments, great water, and it's flash back. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> so, quite a lot rides on this one. We'll add that to everything because we haven't actually managed to capture it. 
Off they go. Adam and Matty are armed with one, two, three, four, five cameras. What we can do is send them a lot of luck and be here in four hours time to actually see if they do it. I thought we may have actually already got it by now, to be honest. So the fact that we've come down to one dive is pretty... Yeah. Really want to beat them. I know it's not supposed to be a competition with the TV show guys, but... It is. <laughs> the footage element of bioluminescence is what inspires the rest of the world. Here we go, we're coming into the top of the layer now. It's everywhere. And media being able to capture that and media having the right tools to capture that can really translate that, that feeling that I have, for example, when I'm in a sub and I get so overwhelmed, so overwhelmed um, and so emotional when I'm surrounded by what feels like a galaxy. There's so much now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a good sign. Yeah, it is a good sign. <laughs> and I want people to have that feeling too, even if they can't be with me in the sub. I want them to be able to have that experience to feel what I feel because then I think that people will be inspired and they'll want to either be the explorer themselves. Okay, Colin, we're ready for a flash. Or will Karen be more interested and be more supportive of the ocean in the future? Three, two, one, flash in, flash in. Oh, good eyes. Oh, wow. It worked. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. I think we got it. Hopefully we got it. We saw it. I hope that it shows up on camera because we definitely saw it. We definitely saw the flashback. It was definitely not as bright as I've ever seen it, but it was still amazing. And so the time has come to see if we captured a flashback to rival our TV show Ocean Explorers. Hold your breath. It's labeled the file flashback. <laughs> Therefore, it has to actually be a flashback. Oh, <laughs> Come on. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And there it is. Oh. Okay, we got it. Now, I don't think we quite saw a flashback strong enough to rival the footage captured in our TV show. You can judge that for yourself, though. But wow, what is certain is that we have had one hell of an experience in the chase. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we've got it as good as the TV show. But yeah, but, but, but we got something. <laughs> it's not bad. But we have got it. We have got it. Yes! <laughs>